everyone, it's Alana here and this video is going to be my first ever narrated video. So I'm going to be talking through how I created my Alice in Wonderland and Harley Quinn painting slash drawing. So I really hope you enjoy the video and if you do, please do thumbs it up and share it if you like. And let's get started! So in this drawing, I'll be creating a character mix-up of Harley Quinn and Alice in Wonderland and it's hopefully going to be the first of many more character mix-ups on my channel. On this side, Harley has pink eyeshadow and tattoos, and I think I'll add in Daddy's Little Monster onto the pinafore as well. I even have my trusty travel mug to copy off the font, which is on Harley Quinn's t-shirt in the Suicide Squad movie. So I love Alice in Wonderland, and of course you all know that I love Harley Quinn. I've done quite a few videos on Harley, so I'll link a few examples here and there. But anyway, back to the drawing. I think I'll add in some old school Jester pom poms onto the dress as an ode to the original Harley from the comic and the animated Batman series. That was actually the first appearance of Harley Quinn was the animated Batman and the first episode she ever appeared in was called Joker's Favor where she was voiced by Arlene Sorkin. So here I'm just adding some extra detail to the drawing before I go ahead and add colour and yeah it's coming along quite well I think. So some of the audio I actually recorded whilst I was drawing so you'll be able to hear the pen marks and stuff and others it'll just be like how it is now, just me talking. <laughs> so I'll definitely need red and I'll definitely need black. Oh there we go, there's two there, that's handy. And oh let's see. Harley Quinn, at your service, pudding. One of the things that I love about Harley is that she's really kind of grungy. So when you're drawing her, if you make a few mucky marks here and there, it doesn't matter because Harley Quinn would be all about that smudged eyeshadow, smudged lipstick kind of life. So I'm going to add in the dress colour and I'll put it here as well. I was inspired by Harley's jester costume so that's why I chose red and black. The pens that I'm using right now are called Pro Markers. I'd really love to try out Copic Markers. I'm interested to see how they compare to the pens that I'm using now. I guess I could always buy a few to try out and maybe do a free marker challenge with them. So let me know if that's something that you'd want to watch. Okay, I made a mistake. <laughs> Fix that right up. This pen is a brush marker. I like the concept of it. Brush part is really soft so it's quite hard to control accurately. Which is good if you're after a kind of more abstract effect. But if you want to get a really neat line it can be a bit um, tricky to use the brush side because it does bend quite, quite easily and quite hard to keep it in a straight precise line if that makes sense. Let's speed this up. I don't know if it's a father Harley or Alice. What do you think? Harley, Alice. Alice, Harley. I'm gonna do little teardrops. If you have a character mix of idea, let me know in the comments section below. And if you can't think of one, maybe thumbs up your favourite and then I'll be able to see who is the most popular. I'm going to add in some eyelashes. I think I'll do them in pencil first and then go over them in pen. Right, now I'll draw on Harley's tattoos. I looked online at a picture of Margot Robbie. Is that how you say her name? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Anyway, as I was saying, I looked at pictures of Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn in Suicide Squad to get a better idea of how to draw the wrist tattoos. And I noticed that they start off black, then it's red, and then it's black again. And it's a really nice diamond pattern. I think I'll add in the Daddy's Little Monster to the pinafore now. Now to add some bright blue to the hair, I chose this lovely sky blue colour. So I think what I love most about Harley Quinn is the amount of depth she has as a character. She is very smart. 
Before she became Harley Quinn, she was Dr. Harley and Quinzel, and she worked in Arkham Asylum as a psychologist, which is of course where she met and fell in love with her Mr. J, the Joker. I love Harley and the Joker's turbulent relationship. In the Suicide Squad movie, they made it quite nice. They made it so that they were both so obviously in love with each other and it was just really kind of sweet. But in the animated Batmans, Harley is just always trying to impress the Joker. She tries everything. She wants him to kind of really appreciate her and love her and she'd do anything for him. The Joker is just quite abusive Bat. So yeah, I really love the fact that Harley Quinn is very smart and emotionally intelligent. She's also an acrobat which I think is really cool. I love circus performers and Cirque du Soleil and all that kind of stuff. It's always interested me and fascinated me so that's another side of Harley which I really love. I guess I see quite a lot of myself in Harley and that's probably why I like her so much. So back to the drawing. Here I added golden gel pen for the earrings. Okay, so now Harley is well on her way to being finished and I'm going to add some gold paint to the background. I drew up some diamonds which I thought would look really cool because in Alice in Wonderland playing cards are quite a big theme in the aesthetic of the film and diamonds are Harley's symbol pretty much. When I think of Harley Quinn I think of the diamond pattern which is often incorporated into her clothes in the video games Harley Quinn appears in, also on her Jester costume and in the Suicide Squad movie, the diamonds are featured on her tattoos and of course on the baseball bat that she carries. So this is something really cool that ties in really well with Alice in Wonderland and Harley Quinn and I just think it's a really nice little connection so I wanted to feature it quite prominently in my artwork. As you can see, I left a circle around the Harley Alice figure, but I decided this didn't really look too good, so I just continued the diamond pattern in the background, and it was really tricky because the original diamonds that I drew out were incorrect, so I had to redraw them all and remeasure and paint over some of the gold that I already did, and it was quite tricky, but in the end it was definitely worth it because I really love how it turned out. Another contributing factor as to why I chose diamonds is that I adored Harley Quinn's dress in the Suicide Squad movie, the one that she wore in the club. So I wanted to use black and gold as those were the colours of Harley's gorgeous dress which I really want to buy a replica of because yes, I really loved it that much. highly pigmented and easy to paint with. I absolutely love it, it looks so so nice. I think the camera did a great job of showing off the colours. It shines so nicely and applies so well by a brand called Fine Tech and I will definitely be using this paint again. For the black paint I use Winsor & Newton acrylic paint. There we have it guys, she's finished! I really hope you enjoyed this narrated video, it's been my first so I'm still learning. Please leave me a comment below and let me know if you enjoyed it because it's always daunting to try something new. So I was a bit worried about uploading this and it'd mean a lot to me if you could let me know if you liked it. So thank you for watching, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, my username is Atalana Claire. but most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more fun mix up videos or if you just like art in general. So thank you so much for watching me create Harley Quinn and Alice mix up, I really hope you liked it. If you did please do thumbs up and feel free to share it with your friends if you like. Thank you for watching, bye!